Hey geeks and geekettes, Tim with MajorGeeks.com and welcome to PowerShell and Command Prompt 101. We just want to show you if you have to use the Command Prompt or PowerShell, what the differences are, and some of the basics if you've never done it before. So there's a few ways to get there. You can, on Windows 10 for example, right click and there is PowerShell, PowerShell Admin. You can do Start. And depending on your operating system, 7 or 8, you probably have to use Command Prompt. Windows 10, you have PowerShell. So let's start with one of them. Right click, Windows PowerShell as admin. It always says administrator right there. Now you can get that, get there as well with the Win X key, Windows key plus X, and there it is. Command prompt, again, let's do Windows S, the Windows key plus S. That'll bring up search. Just start typing in command and right click run as administrator. Bring To answer that question, whether to run as admin or not, for the most part, the answer is almost always yes. Click yes at the prompt. Now, if you don't have PowerShell, as you can see the difference, this is kind of, uh, I like to call it the pretty version of command prompt. This is the new way of doing things. This is the older way of doing things. If you don't have it, go to Google, type in PowerShell, one word, major geeks, and you can download official from Microsoft for Windows 7 and 8 as well. So now that you've seen command prompt and what this looks like, let's look at some basics. So as you can see, we're starting Windows System 32. So there's two ways to go here. You can use one of hundreds of utilities already in Windows. You're used to seeing a graphical user interface GUI with it. This lets you get at everything behind the scenes. So let's see where to start with you. Let's do a couple key commands. Let's say you got to move around. Do cd backslash, that's going to bring you back to the root of C. That's a good one to know. Another one to know so you know where you're at at any time is ls. Pressing ls, you can now see what is in the root of C. So if you took Windows Explorer, for example, and this PC, C, see that? There you go. So let's say, just in case you've downloaded a script from a third party source like Major Geeks, and you know it's in, let's say, users, your username, blah, blah, blah. The next thing you want to know is CD space. Let's say we want to go to users. Just type in users. And there you go. We can LS again. There's my username, Major Geeks. So let's CD up, as I mentioned, CD backslash to the top. And we'll show you how to get there. So let's say I know that script is right in there. CD space users backslash major geeks. Now, what you're looking for here is sometimes you'll need to do the cases, but very rarely. If you usually don't have to, let's leave it at that. CD users major geeks. Boom. Now we're in there. And once again, we can LS to list. There you go. I mean, you don't need too many keyboard commands for what we're doing just to get PowerShell working. There's a million different commands. You just won't need them. So let's goof off now. As you can see, we could type in time. And there's your current time. And in PowerShell, there is, oh yeah. Uh, let's do date. There you go. So I'll provide a list of a bunch of these different scripts that you can play around with it. There's hundreds of them, but don't sweat it too much. Just look around a little bit. Now, the next thing you're going to want to know is date is just a silly little thing we don't worry about. Let's say we want to do defrag, as in defrag our drives. Once you press enter without any switches, switches are these. Uh, for example, forward slash or defrag C. I'll show you this in a minute. And then any switches. These are switches forward slash anything. So let's do defrag. Reason being is if you type in anything, you're almost always going to get, there's your syntaxes, there's your switches. I call them switches. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will tell me something else, but I like switch. Hmm. Here's all your parameters. And if you haven't used it before, this doesn't really help you a real lot. But if you scroll down to the examples, now you can see. So let's take a look. Defrag C colon. So we know we're in C right here. So we, we know right here we'll get defrag started. But is there anything else we want to do here? I'm on an SSD, so I'd prefer not to defragment it. But we can analyze it by using the A switch. So 
defrag C colon, just like in the example, space, forward slash, A. Now, of course, as explained, these are all Windows utilities that you use all the time. This is just behind the scenes. Using, you know, defrag does all this for you with a nice little GUI. And let's hit enter. And there you go. So it analyzed the drive, decided to need it, dot, 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 and we're good. So that just gives you an idea, some of the silly stuff you can do. I wonder if CMD still works. Hmm. So there's a little playing around for you. I don't think it did anything. That's all right. So in those lists that I'm going to have in the video, it's going to have a whole bunch of them. Just remember some of them over time have been moved. Some have been removed, so they may not always work. But when you're ready to move farther on, you can find any command as well as any utilities you can run in this big list that we have here. So I think you'll dig it. There's a lot of neat little things you can do without damaging anything. How about this one? How about Explorer? There's your file Explorer. It's just a good example of some of the things that you can play around in here and kind of get used to it without messing around. So that's about it. So, All right, cool. Um, I should also mention some of the stuff will also... For example, if I hit defrag and you didn't get that, they all vary a little bit, but sometimes you could type in defrag forward slash help. So you might find that useful if this doesn't show up when you type something. Let's see what it does. I don't even know. Yeah, there you go. So it's the exact same thing. They should all work that way. Luckily, in Windows, it either runs or tells you. So you understand what I'm saying? It either, it just sounded so stupid. It either executes because it executes like date and time. Or if there's options, it's going to give you options. There's not too much damage you could do in here, just goofing around trying some of this stuff. Um, you can just sit here all day and goof around with stuff. Yep, so they took the mem command out somewhere along the line of Windows 10. Mem used to tell you how much memory you had. So there you go. All right, that's about it for us. I hope that you have a basic understanding and actually how powerful yet simple the PowerShell and Command Prompt are to use. You made it this far, click on the subscribe button to be awesome. And uh, we thank you, as always, for watching and the new subscriptions. And hopefully we'll see you next time.